For this project, we need fabric, scissors, measuring tape, pins, thread, and string. This dress is made up of two tiers and we need to take three measurements to make the dress. We're going to start by measuring the first tier, which starts at the under boob to the waistline. The second tier is going to be measured from the waist to the length of the dress. The length of the dress is optional. The third measurement we're going to measure are large hips. You can take all these measurements on a mannequin or yourself. Here is the pattern explained. I have added 2 centimeters on each measurement for seam allowance. I added 20 centimeters extra to my large hip measurement for my tier 2. The more you add, the more volume you'll get for the dress. If you'd like a little more volume for the top as well, you can add some length to the large hip measurement on the tier 1 panel. For the bra part of the pattern, I just draped the fabric on a mannequin. You can do this on yourself as well. I used the corner of the fabric to start my draping. Using our pin markings, we're going to trace a 1 cm seam allowance. Now making sure that you're cutting on the bias, so on the diagonal, so that there's stretch in the fabric, we're going to cut four of these pieces out. And here are all the pieces of our pattern. Now taking two of our bra pieces and placing right sides together with the strap in between, we're going to sew along the edges. We're then going to sew these pieces with a 1 cm seam allowance, leaving the bottom open, and then pull the strap through. You can now test how well it fits and how long you need your strap to be. We're now going to take our two long strips and fold the edges over 1 cm and iron those sides down. These two strips are going to be referred to as the channel pieces. We now have all the pieces for our dress, the two tiers, the two channel pieces, and the bra pieces. We're now going to hem the top of the first tier piece. Here I just folded it over half a centimeter and then half a centimeter again. We're now going to fold over the other side of those long pieces and iron those as well. Now placing right sides together, we're going to attach the two edges of the first tier. With the top of the tier hemmed, and now the channel piece ready to be sewn on, we can pin it and sew it across. The placement of the channel piece is up to you, I did it about 1.5 cm down from the hem. You're going to sew the top and the bottom of the channel piece. We're now going to do the same thing that we just did with the second tier piece attaching right sides together and creating a loop. After having attached the two ends of the second tier, we're going to create a basting stitch. A basting stitch is using the biggest stitch on your machine to create a gather. The point of using the basting stitch is to make the second tier the same size as the first tier, to make it easier to attach. With our second tier piece gathered, we're now ready to attach the two tiers by pinning and sewing straight. We're now going to thread our string through the channels we just created. These strings are going to be used to cinch the dress if desired. Once we thread it through, we can pin the string in place and do little stitches to make sure that it doesn't move around. We're now going to fold in the seam allowance of the bra pieces to prepare them to attach to the dress. You can then place it on yourself or a mannequin and pin where you'd like to place the bra pieces. We're also going to pin and attach by sewing our second channel piece. While sewing on the bra piece, I'm going to sew right along the seam that already exists so that I'm not creating another. I'm going to do a little stitch just to make sure that the bra piece is attached. Now on the back of the dress, I'm just going to sew a little loop that I can then tie my straps together with. So folding it over, I'm just going to sew that in with my machine. 
To keep the raw edge look but avoid too much fraying, I'm just going to sew it with a straight stitch along the hemline instead of doing an actual hem. And you're all done.